It is that time of year. The itching, stinging, swelling and general annoyance of insects are back. Everyone living in the low country without a doubt has had the moment when you look at your arms or legs and wonder what's biting me. News 2's Haley Hernandez took questions and concerns to an allergist who says they're mostly harmless except for one. There's about 50 people die every year in the United States from insect sting allergy. Wait a tick, death from a bug? It's very rare to have. While it's rare, everyone's reaction to a bug bite is different and obviously appear to look pretty strange sometimes. So I asked Trident allergist Jeffrey Dietrich, how do you know what's been biting you? So that's what we consider more of a target type lesion and that can be consistent oftentimes with a tick bite. These two, this one is from noceums and this one's from sand flies. Are those the same thing? Uh, they're located in different areas. I mean, no CMs we call uh, are oftentimes the midges that you see that are blooming right now. Mm -hmm. And they're just the small insects. But they can cause very similar reactions to mosquito bites, depending on how sensitive somebody is. Something like that? Yeah, so this person looks like they've got some localized swelling here. The whole hand is swollen after an insect sting. Although this is bothersome what we're seeing, the swollen hand. What's more concerning is when people have a true allergy. What does that mean? Does that mean that more than just swelling at that point, it would go up the whole arm? So if you get hives other parts of your body, swelling other parts of your body, trouble breathing, throat swelling, anything like that is very concerning. Hospitals say more than 500,000 cases enter emergency rooms for insect stings every year. Here in South Carolina, it's not bees, ticks, or mosquitoes he says you have to be concerned about. Fire ants by far cause the most severe or life-threatening reaction. And they're pretty easy to make angry. One quick brush with your hand or foot and you could be covered in them. And according to the American College of Allergy, Asthma and Immunology, more than 260 million acres of southern states are infested with fire ants. So how do you, your kids or your pets keep them away? In this non-scientific study, we tried some home remedies. Some people think chalk makes a barrier that ants won't cross. It worked keeping them away from this dog's food. And others say you can knock the ant smell off track with vinegar. Our expert says that's worth a try to avoid harsh chemicals, but in big open spaces, it might not be so easy. Because they are so hard to avoid and children are out playing in the yards a lot, um, the best thing to do with the fire ants is to make sure that you treated your yard completely. And it is up to you. Both the Department of Natural Resources and Environmental Control say they don't combat ants. Haley Hernandez, News 2. And when using mosquito repellent, doctors recommend that you use a low 5% dose. We want you to stay right here with